What's up guys, The Architect back with another Revit tool video. Today we'll be talking about the properties tools, both the properties and the type properties tool. Now, I would say the biggest thing to take away from this video is that this is about fundamentals of Revit and featuring the properties and type properties options menus, both very fundamental to what Revit is really wanting with its information and how you're going to input its information. So I'm, I'm just showing four walls here just so we can use that as a real basic reference on introducing properties and the type properties. So if I look over here on the left I've, I'm showing a properties. A, a, in the blue here you can see that properties is currently active. If I simply check that it is unactive and now it's active again. I've got the properties back. Now hitting this type properties will bring up the type properties of this. Now the properties window here is going to show you the properties for the selection you or the object you're currently selecting. Now right now I've selected nothing, which means that by default the properties are for the view, the actual 3D view itself. So whether it's the scale, anything here, all these parameters have to do with just the, the view itself. So if I were to select this wall, yeah, I can see here, here are the properties for this generic 8-inch wall. And so the, the next step to this is checking out the specific types, in this case, wall types. Now hitting this option, I can see that the family is basic wall. Okay, that's great. Type is an 8-inch wall, generic 8-inch, and I can ch you know, choose any wall here basically that op the option of choosing a different type is the same there as it is here. You can see all the different types of walls and if I just simply choose another wall type uh, to generic 12 inch you can see that the wall itself became thicker. I'm going to change it back to just an 8 inch. Um, so if I select this wall I have all of the properties here. Basically everything going on with the wall. Um, when it comes to you know, changing wall types or whatnot, that option is just here. Um, again, see, I, de I deselected the wall and it defaulted back to the view, the type. And you, there's actually a, a, a type options, type properties, and you've got these type parameters for the view itself. So again, if I, t I hit this wall, I have these properties here, and these on the left are called instance properties. And now I know it doesn't say that anywhere, but there is a difference between instance and type properties. All of these on the left that you see here within just the basic Revit window are instance properties when you have something selected. So if I were to select these two, I can change the instance properties. Let's say I'll change this unconnected height to 15 feet. You can see those two change. Great. Now the caveat to that is those that was an instance property change. Now if I go into this wall, which is a generic 8-inch wall, just like this is a generic 8-inch wall, if I go into this and choose the type properties, I don't have the option of selecting the unconnected height, which means that is essentially a an instance property. So going back to these two walls, um, I can go to edit type and basically everything within this type properties window are the type parameters. So if I for instance select all three of these walls, they are the same type, although I have different instance parameters set. So if I change the type to let's say uh, just this exterior metal stud, the, the instance properties of these two walls actually stayed. You can still see there's a, a 15 foot unconnected height compared to the 20 foot with that wall. Um, so here's the next thing. If I, if I select just one of these walls, I hit edit type, and I'm, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna change this metal stud to 12 inches just so you can see the change. I just changed that one wall through edit type 
to a 12 inch stud and now once you can see the change here the change actually was reflected within every wall all three of these walls that are the same type as you can see this type that type it's all the same type so making instance changes over here on the left changes the specific walls you have selected the type reflects the same type of wall you have anywhere in the project and that's the, the glory of Revit you, it allows you to change one parameter in one location just by changing this change it back to a six inch wall and it's reflected through every single wall type and, and this that is something that you could see in really every part of Revit uh, changing a parameter here is going to change the parameter just about everywhere also one more thing about the edit type, basically the type properties. Again you've got the, the family itself, the type, you can change the type here, but there's a duplicate and rename option. I can rename this and just say I'm going to call this wood stud instead. And so now that's reflected everywhere as well, everywhere that wall is. You can see wood stud, wood stud. So going back one more time, I can actually duplicate this type let's say I'm gonna call this one wood stud 2 just for instance hit OK the one I've selected is now changed to wood stud 2 but these are both wood stud as well that basically allows you to quickly take a wall that you know you may, but basically you need a second wall type that is very similar to one and you can you can take take that type duplicate it and change one option and apply that change anywhere else in the project just by all, just by selecting these and say I wanted these to be wood stud too I can select all of those change those to the the new duplicated wall type um, that's about it for the properties I looking forward to all the comments I'm really looking forward to answering those questions as well you might have um, but stay tuned for another Revit Tools video. Thank you guys so much.